Master 18, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix your wireless problems you guys have been having with the unknown 132 error that will randomly happen when you're trying to connect or try to use your um, wireless card for monitor mode in Backtrack 5. So, I've came across this a few times and I've been having issues with it as well, but right now, I'm honestly not having trouble with it. And I'm going to show you two methods you could try. Um, the first method is to simply turn off your machine, uh, shut it down completely, plug in the USB, the wireless card, then turn on your machine if you're running Backtrack 5 off your hard drive. If you're running off of a virtual machine like I do, a VMware, just do the exact same thing. Um, and then just power on the, the virtual machine. So just imagine if I plugged it right in right now and I booted up Backtrack 5, logged in, and here I am right now, okay? So what you want to do is you want to check your USB to see if it's actually connected to your system. LSUSB is the command in the terminal. And you should see the RTL8187 wireless. That's what you want to see. And then um, to check your configuration, it's config, and you should see the wireless on the bottom. If not, you might need to check your the blacklisting configurations, um, which is under let's see ls etsy slash mod d. I think yes, and then it's the blacklist.configuration and you just change that to what card you're using or you might have to remove a few things in there um, now I didn't have to do any of that um, I don't think I did if you guys wanted to see my my black configuration I can or blacklist configuration I can always um, you know upload it or show you guys or whatever um, Anyways, continuing on, now that you know that your wireless is working, you can also check right here. Whoops, I have the mon mono zero. Well, that's what we're trying to get, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Okay, and then, um, but you'll see this. This is what you'll see. Right, like that. Now, usually when I notice is... If you see this part and it's shown the 20 dBm or how big the spectrum is of your dBm or whatever, your range, then most likely it's going to work for you because I haven't really had any trouble as long as I started seeing this. I notice this keeps on working for me, so I haven't ran into that error ever again for a while. So um now once you you get that uh you've seen that now you're you're gonna attempt the get it in monitor mode and then the interface here and as you can see i ran into that problem already again so here's that problem and like i said it's kind of random and this is fine because this is why i'm here to teach you guys and how to help you and how to get this fixed so I made a script to fix this problem when I ran into this error. Um, I'll be showing it to you guys and probably, you know, if you want me to upload it, whatever, I can do that too. Um, I'm going to do a cat on my um, wireless script. And as you can see, I uh, it says bin bash echo removing the RTL 8187 module and then the command to remove that is rm mod RTL 8187 and then it echoes removing whoops removing uh, Mac 80, 80211 module and then that's the command for removing that right here and then it echoes re-adding it back the RTL 8187 and then once it does that then your wireless should be fixed in which I echoed your wireless should be fixed so I'm gonna go ahead and run that and hopefully this fixed it and I'm gonna check the configuration real quick you might get Wayland 1 or Wayland 2 it doesn't really matter 
what you have as long as you have some it's it's brought back up and it's working um d iw config all right and then we're going to attempt to do this once again monitor mode and it gave me an error again hmm Let me try this. There we go. I I honestly, like I said, this thing is completely random. I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, I don't understand it. I really don't. Sorry about that, guys. But I did get it back and running. So now, as you can see, I can do arrow dump dash ng and then mono zero. And there I am, right where I was. Um, so if you guys need to see the source, I'll go ahead and cat that real quick. Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. There we are. And um, I'm going to try to zoom in on here so you guys can hopefully see this when I'm zooming in and editing the video. You can see this entire thing right here. Okay. So leave me your comments. Uh, got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them best I can. Um, this error definitely needs to be fixed. Um, I've been having it many a times. And... Um, like you just seen earlier, the, the fix is just basically random. There's not really a permanent fix to this. You just got to keep trying. Uh, it's basically trial and error. Um, I basically just ran my script until that finally worked, and then it did. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it to you guys. Um Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for, you know, submitting me your recommendations. I'll get to those other ones as soon as I can. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. Take care.